The second biennial Teachers Education Conference saw educators from across the sector gather at the Biltmore this morning, where they will attend a two-day seminar to examine current teacher education and development issues. Organized by the Teacher Education and Development Services, the forum will allow for a revision and analysis of pertinent education research findings. There are those who believe still that you can get by without uh, proper pedagogical training. And there are those who would bet and try to go to great lengths to prove that those who don't have professional pedagogical training can be as effective, or in fact, many of them try to point out that they are even more effective than teachers who have been trained in pedagogy. And is it true that you can be effective in your classroom without uh, pedagogical training? Chances are yes, because as I have said time and time again, the art of teaching is not only the pedagogical training, it is having a heart for what you do, having a heart for the students firstly, but also having a passion and a love for the work that you do. Addressing the gathering as keynote speaker was Professor Emeritus Errol Miller. The Chancellor of Michael University College is the recipient of numerous awards for his contribution to education and public service. The bar has been raised for teachers. Um, I, I, you can see it. Now, Belize is, is a little different from many of the countries of the Caribbean is that you still have a growing school population. In many of the countries of the region, more children are leaving school than entering school. Belize is not that. You still have more students entering than leaving. The population at both the primary and the secondary level, uh, 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 populations are growing. Um, that's a good thing because the future is going to be for people who have more people <laughs> and young people and not just people who have old people to look after. So, so that may be a challenge. But, but in addition to that, I, I, I note from the statistics that the level of professional training has in, at the primary level has only increased modestly over the last, say, 10 years, from 52.1% to 56.4%. Despite the moderate growth, the Ministry of Education is moving ahead with plans to roll out an extensive pedagogical program with counterpart funding from the IDB. There are other initiatives, of course, that the Ministry is working on. A $20 million teacher education program that we are currently negotiating with the Inter-American Development Bank, the IDB. So there are great things to come. And there is great support for the work that has already been started. So it is an exciting time in the area of teacher education and an extension in education in general in this country. You know, let us not be the bearer of bad news and let us not be those that dampen the spirit. This country is depending on successes in education to pull us out. If you don't believe me, you read the budget figures and it will show you that this year, 28% of the national budget, 28% of what is going to be spent in the recurrent expenditures this year is being spent on education. Presentations were also made on intercultural bilingual education programs and their implications on Belize. Reporting for News 5, I am Isanika Etano.